Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with a classic review for you, and today I'm talking about Society, released in 1989. It's kind of interesting about its release. Um, uh, it came out in 89, but was released in Europe, Germany, I'm pretty sure, specifically. It was a big hit, a lot of people liked it, but it took till June of 92 for it to get an American release, supposedly. I could not find any box office information about this film. I have no idea what money it made in theaters. I have no idea what cities it played in, how many theaters it played in, which means me leads me to want to question whether it really got a theater. Did get this? I, I read the theatrical release. I'm starting to think they may be misinformed. You know, IMDb might be misinformed, but uh, I don't know. I think it's probably it was probably straight to video, most likely here, especially that much longer. I mean, that long, that much long later. Uh, the setup here is Billy Warlock plays uh, Bill Whitney, and Bill is a promising young athlete, and uh, and you know, look, most likely the Nets plaque, front runner for class president. Despite his uh, success as a young student, his parents could care less about him. They're far more interested in his older sister. Now, Bill also is seeing a psychiatrist about these. Uh, hallucinations and uh, paranoia and anxiety I mean like irrational fears he's having and after uh, after his sister's ex-boyfriend plays this tape for him he slowly more and more gets caught up in this uh, cult that he's pretty sure his family is part of and he starts to suspect he's not even you know he's starting to think he's adopted even uh, the story unfolds, and I went to this film knowing pretty much just that, you know, it was produced by Brian New. I've heard about it for a long, long time. I don't want to quite say my whole life, but I definitely have heard about this movie since I was a kid. Uh, never got around to seeing it. Um, and I knew that Brian Hughes, now, who's one of the producer for, uh, Reanimator, one of my favorite horror movies ever, directed it. And I also knew it had, uh, makeup effects by Screamin' Matt George, who also worked on, you know, did the makeup effects for Reanimator. Uh, so I wanted to see this. I was interested, uh, but I had no idea what it was about. And there was no better way to walk into this movie. I loved it. Five stars. Absolutely blown away by this film. I thought it was funny, grotesque, intense, and just absolutely captivating the whole time. It was, it was something else. I had a blast watching society i could not recommend it anymore i don't want to say anything else about the story just you know if you have an opportunity to see this film see this film and if you have already seen the film chime in you know um uh tell me what you thought about it uh if you liked it as much as i do i am a little bit surprised um uh after watching it a little bummed out after watching it because i loved it so much I was like, of course, of the of all horror movies, not to have six fucking sequels. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I, I was wanting more of this. I wanted more of this shit. Anyhow, uh, yeah, five stars for society. Don't know what took me so long to see it. Anyhow, I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.